Hi, it's Rod, and this one's called God's Way to Happiness. Well, God's way to happiness in the Bible is to uh, draw close to His presence, and in His presence is a fullness of joy. Get filled with His Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love and joy and peace. Everything we need to be content and happy comes from God. <laughs> but for the godless person that is not finding love and happiness, God's way or whatever, um, they're trying to find it someplace else. It's like Satan tries to lie to them and tell them that they'll find contentment or love and happiness or peace or joy from created things. I'll get my love and happiness from other people or money or physical pleasures or whatever and uh, it never satisfies them or whatever. They were made to only be satisfied with God's love and God's joy and God's peace or whatever. God's contentment. If you do things the way God wants you to do them, then you become happy and um, loving and successful. It's like when the godless people try to find uh, their contentment or love or happiness the wrong way. They never find what they're looking for. Like the old U2 song, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Because they're looking for it in the wrong place still. That's what I was like before I became a Christian. I was trying to find my fulfillment or contentment or happiness and being godless, sinning against God, looking for it in physical pleasures and relationships with other people and parents or whatever. And I didn't find it looking for it in the creation like Adam and Eve didn't find the satisfaction or happiness they were looking for from a piece of fruit on a tree or whatever. Only if we seek to draw close to God who created us will we find that contentment, love, and joy we're looking for. Will, will we successfully find happiness God's way? Satan's trying to lie to us. You don't need to be a Christian. You don't need God's Holy Spirit. You don't need to get close to God to be happy or loved or peaceful or whatever. You can do it without God. It's not going to happen or whatever. You got a population of about 90% of the population wanting to be godless, wanting to believe Satan's lies, wanting to be selfish, wanting to look for happiness and the creation, and unhappy and doing unloving, selfish things to try to make themselves happy with created things. I need more money. I need uh, 
more immoral sex. I need more entertainments or whatever. Then maybe I'll be happy in the future. I need more education. I I need a better paying job. I need the American dream. I need more restaurant food or whatever. Then I'll be happy someday. It's like the demons tell people, you can't be happy now. <laughs> but they lie to you. They say, if you do this, you'll be happy. Buy more computer video games. Buy, watch more Simpsons TV shows. <laughs> Have some more immoral sex or whatever in a bar or whatever. Drink more alcohol. Take more drugs or whatever. It's just an endless kind of trying to find happiness in a place that never makes you happy or whatever. And... Uh, they get everything that they think will make them happy, but that was a lie. It's not going to make them happy. I got all the money. I got the immoral sex. I got the every Simpson episode or whatever. They're still not happy or whatever. They still want more to be happy because it's God that makes them happy, not the created things. If you're seeking your happiness God's right way, you can be happy now. The demons are liars. You can't be happy now. I can be happy now if I want to look for my happiness in the right place. Get away, Satan. Get away, demons, whatever. I'm going to go pray. I'm going to get close to God. I'm going to talk to God. That's where the happiness is. When when God likes what you're doing, uh, when you make God happy, you make yourself happy. So if you want to make yourself happy, think that, if I choose to get close to God and obey Him, believe in the cross of His Son Jesus to take my sins away, then I'm going to find I'm in God's presence and filled with the Spirit and being happy. Then I couldn't care less what's on the television set or whatever, the entertainments or whatever. Entertainments are for people that are trying to look for their happiness in the wrong place, not finding it, and then they want to get their mind off of their unhappiness. I tried to look for happiness for money, it didn't work, so now i got to watch The Simpsons for 10 hours to try to get my mind off of my unhappiness type stuff. It's just kind of following Satan around in the wrong direction as to things that won't make you happy or whatever. And God's trying to tell you, no, come close to me, I'll make you happy or whatever, spiritually. So you don't need to turn on the TV set to watch The Simpsons because you're already happy. <laughs> you don't have to try to get more money because you're already happy even if you're poor or whatever. You could be in a rat-infested prison and still be happy God's way. You don't have to be on this kind of a rat race treadmill of selfishness trying to find happiness in Satan's wrong ways and never finding it and then ending up in hell and being even more depressed forever there when you die or whatever. The richest people in the world are some of the most unhappy people in the world. And then they die and they go to hell and they're even worse happy, worse unhappier because everything's taken away from that death and they got nothing they used to have to be happy. It's like a parable Jesus had about this rich man who died and woke up in hell. He couldn't even get a drink of water and he hated it type thing. But before on earth, that's all he was doing was trying to get happiness out of money and immoral sex and all that kind of stuff. Sinning against God, following Satan. And it was a lie. Most of the world wants to believe a lie that happiness doesn't come from being a Christian or obeying God or being close to Him. They follow Satan, they follow demons, saying that you can't be happy now if you uh, get better grades at school, if you get a good paying job, if you get married, if you get the American dream, if you get more video games, if you watch more TV shows, if you do this, if you do that. You'll be happy someday, not now, type thing. They're always searching. What is boredom? It's uh, 
what I'm trying to do to make myself happy is make me happy. Give me something to do to make me happy or whatever. Well, if they would go to God's presence, which is free, they could find happiness and then they wouldn't be bored and then they wouldn't be looking for some created thing to make them happy. They could say in their mind, I could be happy right now. God's way. I don't need to watch TV. I don't need to play video games. I don't need to go to school and get high grades. I don't have to look young and beautiful or whatever. I can be happy in whatever situation I am right now, paralyzed from neck down in a wheelchair in a rat infested prison, God's way spiritually. I can be happy right now, God's way. And you fight off these lies that 90% of the population are racing after. That's why celebrities are popular, because people are depressed and unhappy and think that thinking about somebody else, some musician or movie star or whatever, is going to make them not think about their unhappiness for a while. Which they think is making them happy. If I take this drug, whether it's an illegal drug or a psychiatric drug or whatever, it'll make me feel happy or whatever. They need the drug. They need the money. They need the sexual pleasure. They need the food. They need the, the education. They need the jobs. They need the American dream. Then maybe someday they'll be happy. But people get all that stuff. They're still unhappy. they got to go to God to get their happiness. So that's what the Bible says about God's way to be happy. Get saved to get your sins taken away. Get into the presence of God for the first time in your life. Uh, let God fill you with joy and peace and ex reveal God teaching you how much he loves you through the death of his son Jesus on the cross or whatever. Through giving his son for you. How much he values you. How much he forgives you. How much he protects you. How much he provides for you. Takes the fear away. Takes the depression away. And uh, makes you happy. And uh, takes the selfishness away. You're not looking to get something from other people and hurting other people to try to make yourself happy or something like that. You can give love and good things to others because you're already happy. <laughs> you're not looking for somebody else to make you happy. You're already happy. God's making you happy. You're looking to God to make you happy, not other people or whatever. It doesn't matter whether my parents were great parents or not. I need to go to God to get my happiness now type thing. God would like parents to train their children. Hey, kids, don't look for happiness in created things. That won't make you happy. Look for your happiness through a good relationship with God. Think about the cross of Jesus Christ, taking all your sins away. Be filled with His Holy Spirit. Be filled with joy and peace or whatever. Obey what God's telling you to do, to do loving things for others. Don't be selfish or whatever. And then you'll be happy and successful. If we want to learn these things, God, the truth teacher, can teach them to us. Ask God the question, what is the way to feel fully loved and happy and content? God can teach us through his word and his spirit. And he'll say it's through salvation. He'll say it's through drawing close to him in his presence, filled with his spirit. Then you can be content and happy, whoever you are, just the way you are. Feel fully loved unconditionally and full of joy and stuff like that. And it's all because God wants to give us these great things. If we believe the truth, we can receive these things. If we doubt in them, we will miss out on them or whatever. So <laughs> getting close to God through the cross of Jesus Christ and being filled with the Spirit is God's way to happiness. Not from trying to get created things to be happy. That won't work. So I'll just end with a prayer. Father, help us to understand your way to happiness and help us to uh, draw close to you through the blood of your son Jesus and find that spiritual happiness so that we can choose to act loving towards others instead of selfish towards others and make you happy and make ourselves happy. In the name of your son Jesus, I ask you to. Amen. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life.